Hey you guys, on the other side of the screen, it's the Ice Queens here, and I think I finally am able to figure out how to make sure the video audio is not overpowering my voice audio like it has been. So I'm just hoping um, there might be quite a lot of jump cuts and stuff to make sure and stuff. Um, but yeah, so Thomas posted a video, a Christmas one, like yesterday or the day before. I watched it like really, really late last night, so I don't remember any of it, honestly. I watched it at like probably midnight. I'm recording this on Christmas, if you guys are wondering. And I also got this new really cute beanie. I love it. But let's get started. My beanie's in the way of my ears. Okay. It's definitely less echoey with these on. Okay. Well, I'm gonna do a test real quick. So there's probably gonna be like a little jump to make sure everything is working fine. Okay, it's really loud in my ears, so I'm just gonna turn down the volume. No, not too much. Okay. Okay, I'm back. So the problem was this time is it was too quiet, <laughs> but I think I fixed it. Um, fingers crossed. Let's do this. There are few who deny at dropping lines I am the best, for my talents are denounced far and line wide. Wide. That's it. <laughs> we'll get it one more time. I love this intro. I know it's talked about it before, but it's so good. What is up, everybody? Do, 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 do. Well, it is that time of year again. <laughs> I love how the they put like the no little leaves and like a right here. Apple. This right the there. It's pretty cool. Is crisp and cool. I felt sick too, sorry. Except for here in Florida. But, you know, I'm sure <laughs> that Texas. it's don't worry, Thomas. nice in other places. Ah. I'm not jealous. I'm chill. Except I'm not. <laughs> Florida! <laughs> Frightful weather or not, those sleigh bells are still stuff jingling, stuff. our hearts are still ring ting tingling, and it is time to set our Don't sights it is, on that perennial favorite, Christmas! No! No? You're a mean one. We did a Christmas episode last year, Thomas. I, I mean, so. yeah, Virgil. Christmas is kind of a what, year what, old. <laughs> it sure is. But you know what we still haven't done? <gasps> oh my gosh. Easter? What? what? <laughs> no. St. Patty's Day. No. Aunt Patty's Day. No. What? New Year's Day. By the time we're on the same page, maybe. Halloween? Yes. 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 Halloween. <laughs> Halloween. 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 I mean, I, I don't care. I just, <laughs> I like holidays. So I, what are you, what are you doing? What are you doing over there? Shh, Thomas. I'm waiting for the others to show up so I can scare them right out of their pants. Um... Yeah, affectionately. And then I'm going to, affectionately, scare them so freaking bad they'll wet those same pants after they put them back on! <laughs> wow, Virgil, that's... Uh, okay, Virgil. That's pretty evil. Tis the season. <laughs> but it's not. Impression. Just don't mind me, okay? Just, like, keep doing your thing. Well, all right. This is great because <laughs> it means I get to sport my best costume yet. Your spoopy neighborhood Spider-Man! <laughs> Pretty great, right? My mommy got it for me. Did someone say mummy? No, so you can go back down. Hey guys, wow, clearly I have a strong attachment to this holiday. You guys look awesome! Thank you, Thomas. I put a lot of thought into my costume. How'd you settle on being a mummy? What a better costume for me than zombie royalty! Fair enough. And Logan! Frankenstein's monster, not Dr. Frankenstein? I was going to be Dr. Frankenstein, <laughs> but Roman said, and I quote, That dude sounds like a grade D dork. You should be the scary monster instead. You know, the real Frankenstein. You wrote all that down? Oh, I try to jot down anything Not that is said to me that is unprecedentedly that. stupid. It is important to keep receipts. That. Lots of people don't know that the monster's name isn't Frankenstein. Larry. Very true. Stop putting people I didn't know down. about that for quite a Stop while. It. Stop. Anyway, where's Patton? <laughs> I'm here, Thomas. So I weird. dressed as a ghost. <gasps> oh, wow. Amazing. Just kidding. I hadn't popped up yet. Oh, okay. Well, 
<laughs> I feel like a fool. Sorry I'm late, everyone. So Thomas here still hasn't picked out a candy bowl for next year's trick-or-treaters, the little procrastinator. And I can't like, decide if he should get an so orange cute. bowl with black bats or a black bowl with orange bats. Patton, what are you? <gasps> or orange pumpkins. That makes more sense. That's the one, Thomas. Patton, what is this? <laughs> Have you forgotten the discussion we had concerning our coordinated costume choices? Wait, coordinated costumes? You were supposed to be the wolf man, Patton, not some measly mutt. I am the wolf man. I have the floppy ears. I've got this cute little tag with my name on it. That does not say your name on it. That's Scooby-Doo's tag. Oh, must have gotten my name tag mixed up with someone else's. Well, someone's Scooby costume is ruined. Sorry, Patton, did you say wolf man? Uh, yeah, wolf man. It was wolf man. Yeah, wolf man. Wolf man. Wolf man. Wolf man. Wolf man. Wolf man. Are you guys? Are you guys messing with me? Patton, we all agreed that we were going to wear scary costumes. Do not spoil this belated Halloween for me. Wait, scary costumes? I don't think I got the memo on that one. I literally don't know how we discussed it in your head. Well, Spider Man is sort of scary. He wears a mask, so no one knows who he is. Peter Parker. He's always fighting crime at night. Fighting is scary. Nighttime is scary. The spider on the middle of your chest is scary. Spider Man's scary. You're scary. Go away, Spider Man. It's okay, it's okay, Patton. It's just me. It's just me. Thomas, you're Spider Man. Calm yourself, JJ. <laughs> Spider Man's not scary. He's a hero. Scary is more like. Uh... Like this. <sighs> <laughs> no, not like that. Um... Are you kidding me? I spent all day working on this. Be afraid. Be very afraid! Oh, sorry, bud. I just don't think that we find you as <laughs> scary anymore. Oh, no. What? Oh, but that's good. You're part of the group now. You work with us instead of... Against us? Against <laughs> us? I remember Ugh, some Let me rephrase that. Me okay. Uh, you're not frightening them anymore? Why not? Frightening us? You're not including yourself. Why? I am fearless. <laughs> And of therefore, course, Logan. Uh, I've seen uh, you course. scared. Uh, Virgil, why aren't you doing your job? Uh, I'm obviously trying. And actively failing. Have you forgotten about the graph that I illustrated of the Yerkes curve? curve? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. You remembered something that I taught you for once. Then surely you remember the optimum point of tension, signifying that it's not good to experience none of anxiety's effects. I, I don't, don't know about know none like of its effects. Virgil is still Logan's very scary. Costume. You just gotta give him a chance. Uh, Virgil, do that. It's kinda, you know. It's kind of weird. Do that thing with your face. Oh, okay. <laughs> ah! Uh-oh, uh-oh. You scared the pants right off of me. Uh, it's just... Oh my gosh, you guys don't think I'm scary. Well, Put your pants back on. Don't patronize me. You mean patronize? Whatever. That it just slipped out. I mean, we, we spent an entire two-part episode discussing how you weren't a malicious entity. We bonded and stuff. We, yeah, we understand now. Understand what? Your being scary was really mainly a thing when you were isolating yourself, before you knew a better way to help me. Now that we've broken down that wall, you don't have to, you know, keep up the act. Act? Well, you know, not an act, but a phase. A phase. Phase. Well, sure, everyone goes through phases. They're embarrassing, but we get over them. We're all just happy you're embracing who you truly are now so we can be pals. L listen, we may be friends, <laughs> but that doesn't mean I can't scare you anymore. I'm your anxiety. That is what I do. Well, not anymore, apparently. <laughs> How hard is it to distress someone? I mean... Just watch. Thomas, given human beings' limited years, there's a cap on how many things you'll be able to make in your lifetime, meaning you probably don't have the time to create everything that you want. Oh my gosh! Why would you say that? Oh, geez, dude. See? That's, All it that's took harsh. was a little logic. Wait, is it so Logan, wrong that's that Virgil is doing something a little is different now? Is it up by Why Logan's can't that costume? phase be over? It just looks weird. It just with me. The dog look days are over. Take it from me, Virgil. As someone who's gone through a few phases myself, phases are like Halloween costumes. A time comes when you wear one around, but eventually it's time to take the costume off. The yeah, phases I've gone back through back. are in the past, exactly. and I feel like I'm I can finally be my real weird. self my now. Life, huh. really. Interesting perspective, Thomas. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, everyone. I hate the dark. Somebody light a match. Not because I farted. You know, I'm glad you brought up those phases you went through. Let's talk about those. Oh my. What have you done? Anyone remember 
Thomas's cosplay phase? Oof, yeah. No, I was I was not good at costume construction. So you changed my costume, costume as an example? Construction. It's, it's rude. I was so into that scene. I made so many different costumes, went to all the local cons, but my costumes always fell short compared to everyone else. Oh, that absolutely defeated me. I couldn't cope with the fact that we weren't on the same level as all the other incredible cosplayers at the cons you attended. Oh, that was big of you to admit, Roman. Too bad your you big died. admission is dwarfed by your gargantuan failures. Yikes, that, those were ugly words there, kiddo. Not as ugly as Thomas's cosplays. Better looking than your face! We have the same... <sighs> Never mind, just let it go, Virgil. You know, <laughs> extending beyond this Penny dreadful theatricality. Penny dreadful theatricality. I see what you did there. Pun not intended. There is something interesting to be said about all Logan. this talk of. I love when Logan yeah. makes Yes, I can't help but be reminded too. of Eric Erickson's. What a name. The theory of psychosocial development. <laughs> what a name. Sure. Particularly the fourth psychology. psychosocial crisis, entitled well Industry versus Inferiority. Catchy. During this phase, one aims to gain a sense of competence when developing skills. If unsuccessful, one could develop feelings of inferiority. However, a mixture of failures and successes could lead to a more agreeable balance of competency and modesty. Oh my gosh, he's so right. I'm it's so like modest. So cosplay traits. is something that made me feel inferior. Potentially, okay. but remember, you were also about, trying really. your hand at other trades during that phase. Singing, filmmaking, etc., with which you felt more successful. And your proficiency at said skills provided a necessary counter to your more embarrassing efforts. Well, Maybe I was wrong to be embarrassed by my cosplay. Well, not wrong, but I don't know why. But I'm like, yeah, I had fun. The, the I did it because I was passionate about popular. the characters. Going to conventions gave me a chance to meet people that liked the same geeky stuff as me. So what if I didn't have the means to create a film quality costume? I shouldn't have given up so <laughs> easily. Well, but you can always get back into it. Would you really want to revisit that? You should just let the past die. Kill it, if you have to. Easy there, Kylo friend. Oh my gosh, a nice nickname? I hadn't thought of that. You shouldn't give up on things just because they're hard, or if you're not good at them right away. You know, you're right. And I feel like I've also probably improved since then with all the costuming for videos. That time in my life might have been an essential stepping stone in order to get to where I am today. Stepping stone? More like throwing stone. Oh! Oh, sorry, I did not mean what to actually hear you. That was Virgil? just supposed to scare you. Gosh! But I bet now you're going through another phase of pain. <laughs> sorry, again, Mel. You know, Virgil, th this isn't so scary. You just diminished my costume quality, that's all. Careful, or it'll be Thomas's girl phase next. Oh, you mean when you feigned an attraction towards women? You mean the first 23 years of my life? <laughs> yeah, that's right. You were so repressed. <laughs> it was very hard for me. Oh, I bet Virgil has a ton more to scare us with. How about me next, you bat-winged cherub? Uh, I mean, you bad boy. <sighs> all right. Hot dog. Oh no, not the... Yes, Patton. The emo phase! But this was maybe the scariest phase in all of Thomas's life! Well, so... scary is a little harsh. No, Thomas, you were such an angsty teenager. Like... And you know how Patton teenagers scare the living poop out of me. Oh, Patton, you don't have to make emo song references. But it's better if you do. I agree with Patton. This is a horrifying period to revisit. Through all of the relentless waves of hormones and emotions, no one could understand me. Yeah, I was really going through some stuff when I was younger. That was an emo phase. There was a lot to get a handle on. Well, that's what you get when you let your heart win. Whoa, whoa. I am Paramore. Whoa. Okay, you can stop. Making the song a hundred times better? Maybe. I can try. Oh, the ill-fitting hairdos I wore. And all the bracelets, too. How did I wear so many bracelets? <laughs> Who let me do that? Being old enough to comprehend depressing realities, but still too young to wrap your head around why things are the way they are, resulted in you becoming a little try-hard. You only made things worse for yourself by dressing in a way that was so wannabe edgy. You were just 
making it way too easy to insult you. Hypocrite, say what? What? Oh, my gosh, I can't <laughs> believe it worked. Shut up. Also, what were you thinking going to events like Warp Tour? You hate crowds. Hmm. Now, I don't want to overload anyone with information. Since when? But this also sounds like one of Erickson's <laughs> stages of yep. psychosocial development. Identity versus role confusion. Hmm. This stage describes oh, well, one's search okay. for personal identity yeah. and a sense of self trying to figure out who you are. It's a time for exploring and seeking a right figurative now, place where one belongs in society. If one doesn't have an easy time during this stage, they could experience an identity crisis and experiment with different lifestyles. An identity crisis that clearly oh, hasn't ended. I mean, what am I other than a highly condensed <laughs> ball of angst whose style is a relic from that time in your life? Oh my gosh, yeah! And now we're basically style twins! <laughs> oh, look out everyone, just a couple of cool guys coming through. Okay, Patton. Um, sorry. Well, I mean, maybe that <laughs> angst is still with adorable. me to some extent, but you work with us now. You're not in the driver's seat anymore, you... Have a seat at the discussion table. I was absolutely frightened out that of my mind make back much then. Sense but, to me, but okay. only because I was trying to understand difficult feelings for the first time. Woo! Glad that's over with. Patton, what do you think we're doing every time we meet up? Catching <laughs> up. And then I found um, a up. healthy way to express myself. Screaming lyrics. Yeah, lyrics that <laughs> resonated with me and made me feel. <laughs> less alone and Virgil going to concerts made me feel like there was a place for me in society and I really needed that at the time honestly that was a time where I developed a lot of the values I still believe in today plus the music is still pretty darn cool well that's <laughs> what I'm saying hmm, I don't think I really have any other embarrassing hmm. fit embarrassing phases Huzzah! and that means my beautiful costume can remain untouched <laughs> princey 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 so naive what? <laughs> ah his burlap sack face oh i get it it's vine oh okay yes the vine face wow virgil i hate to say it but this is a miserable failure on your part. The vine phase wasn't scary. On the contrary, I'm rather proud of all the work we did. Oh, all the work? My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard and they're like, whoop, it's better than yours. Ah, ah, put it away, put it away, put it away now. It's okay, it's okay. We're on YouTube now where we're safe from all the bad decisions. I've, I've always, I've I'm always made bad things vines. that I can be proud of on YouTube. Oops. Thomas, don't invite something else. Oh, Thomas, Vine may be dead, Stop. but it still haunts you like a malevolent apparition. Those were some of the earliest years in developing your voice as a creator. But no matter what you do, no matter what you try, you will never grow past it. No. Your tombstone will read, Here lies Thomas Sanders. Remember him? He was the story time guy. guy. He was an amazing Vine. story time guy. Why no? Because <laughs> I don't know. If people were to remember your vines years down the line, that'd be pretty cool. I think that'd be pretty neat. That'd be epic. Oh my god, you're awesome. Uh, Logan, did Derek's son have anything to say about this? You mean Erickson? Oh, <laughs> that's right. The only sons I can keep straight are my own. <laughs> As a matter of fact, Patton, yes, the generativity versus stagnation stage does share a few notable qualities with Thomas's fine face. Well, why don't you generate an explanation for us, Logan? Holy sh**. Well, it has to do with one's desire to create and be involved in the community. The function of this stage is ideally to figuratively make your mark make on the world okay. through creating or nurturing something that will outlast you. Oh my gosh, I was literally talking to you about this same thing a while ago. Me and this Erickson guy. Wow, so we, I was doing exactly what I needed to be doing. I was taking part in an online community and I accidentally stumbled into making something that was bigger than me. Just by doing something that I enjoyed? That's so freaking cool. And sure, 
I made mistakes all the time. But, you know, I'm better now, right? I don't know. Are you? I don't Stop. know. Am I? All right. Stop I Virgil. believe I understand the intended outcome of Virgil's methodology. If you had never made that horrendously bad find. Okay, now you guys are just being mean. The finds aren't that bad. My humps, my humps, my humps, my humps, my <laughs> lovely ladies humps. Dude, oh, stop it! Did not <laughs> example. Most of them weren't that bad. Yeah. Your boy has delivered some ill-conceived content. I love Logan But that Logan was part of his, his development. Um, Similarly, if we hadn't endured those various cringe-inspiring periods of your life, then you wouldn't know the things that you know now. I could or be them. Be the person that I But I would be today. blind. So. Oh no. Yeah, duh. It's not that I haven't changed, but when you reduce a piece of my history go. to just a phase, you ignore everything that I went through. Who I was when I scared you all the time is no less real than who I am now. Past phases are the foundation of who you've become. That's very true. <laughs> oh, here's my name tag. It says Potum. Awesome. So if you remove that foundation, what's left standing? Oh, sorry if we tore you down a little bit, Virgil. A pun-infused touching moment? That is so my aesthetic. Look, <laughs> dealing with me will never be a walk in the park. And you can't pretend that it will be. When you try to deny me, I get frustrated and I lash out. Y you talk about how I work with you now. That's great. But I need you to work with me, too. You're right. Very true. You're right. I, I, I don't suppose there's anything I can do to remedy the situation? Yeah, don't worry about it. I'll get even with you. What? What does that mean? What are you gonna do? When are you gonna do it? It's already done. Dear Zeus and Newton. Dear John! Thomas, do you remember <laughs> your fedora face? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> fedora! <laughs> <laughs> All right, now we're even. You don't bring up a guy's fedora face, Virgil. There's gotta be a line! Not even if that guy belittled someone's past hardships? Fine, I wore a fedora, or seven. It was one week. You could barely call it a face. My head is not built for half. Does the fedora <laughs> thing tie into the lesson in any way? Nope. I just had a point to prove. I still got it. Yeah, you certainly do. Don't question me again, Sanders. Ah! If he's going back to being scary, can I go back to calling him names? No, no. You have to be nice. I'm just glad he didn't go into the girl phase. You with a girl defies all me. Yeah, no, it was <laughs> fun for anyone. Thomas definitely defies I logic. feel kind of confused now. I always try to show Virgil love and support, but lately... I feel like I always inevitably do something wrong. Oh, Patton, I, I understand. There's a lot that Virgil could do that I don't want him to do. He knows exactly how to push my buttons, but he is who he is. All we can do is try to listen to him yeah. as best as we can and adapt to his needs. It's not an easy thing to navigate, so we're going to run into problems. But if it's any I consolation, Pat, a new I can see how hard you try. New science. And I think you're doing a really Sorry, great job. Whew, well, my nerves are shot. Um, I guess the takeaway from this is that phases, although sometimes embarrassing, aren't inherently artificial they're the building blocks <laughs> of the dance, person you but are I now love this music. It's so we're poppin'. constantly growing and our experiences <laughs> shape us embrace where you are in your life right now whoever you are right this minute you're real don't let anyone tell you differently I am I real? until next time take it easy ghost schools and non-binary ghouls I don't know. I was trying something. Take it easy, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. Peace out. Have yourself <laughs> a scary little Christmas. Very well done, Virgil. Ooh, what is this? You're so evolved. Deceit. Real classy of you to sneak up on a side in the middle of housekeeping. Well, classy is my middle name. Seriously, it's on my birth certificate. You can look it up. For proof. Yeah, Did maybe. Notice his nose maybe like... an opposite town. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, all right. You're overselling it now. Oh, you are hilarious, Virgil. You always have been. What are you doing here? I'd love hmm, a bunch of talk about up. Halloween. So cool. A season for dressing up and pretending to be something or someone else. You're right. A master of deception such as myself has no place in that kind of discussion. Okay, me being able to elicit fear doesn't take away from the fact that I've grown. So don't even try me with that, Harvey Dent. Clever retort and convincing statement <laughs> and cool costume. Are you supposed to be Scarecrow in Joel Schumacher's canceled third Batman film? You know this is what I normally wear. I've never seen that outfit in my life. Stylish clothing aside, just be sure to keep up that personal growth, Virgil. Who knows? Maybe soon you could be rid of us all. Oh, what the? I was... <laughs> <laughs> totally not looking for this. Okay, this Yeah, you better run. What was that? Nothing, get out! Okay. <laughs> that was so good. I really enjoyed that. That makes me want more Sandersides. More, please. <laughs> My little dragon sculpture that I'm working on once more. It's not the best. It's a work in progress still but this video was really good I can't wait for another Sandersides and hopefully <laughs> maybe we'll get a new side like we haven't seen Deceit for quite a while now and having him show up is amazing since we haven't seen him in a while well, um, this video is kind of long like the last reaction video was, and it is late. It is 11.19, and I have work tomorrow, so I gotta edit this video and upload it and have it set for the time I usually upload at. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> well, I hope you guys enjoyed this little reaction video. Um, if you did, comment down below another video I should react to if you enjoyed it um, comment down below if you want a cute little sculpture it can be anything any type of sculpture you would like if I can make it tiny like this and put it in a jar necklace and one lucky commenter will get one I will somehow message you and you will receive a cute little necklace or two or a few because I have a lot of saving a few for my friends but if you do want one comment down below what you would like in it and um, I will try to make it for you so I hope you guys enjoyed this video love you all and bye